Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today what we're going to talk about is curl cream. So I had the biggest issue finding curl creams that suited my hair. I think my biggest issue was finding the right consistency of product. So a lot of times I was choosing products that were way too thick for my hair, had way too much protein in it, had way too much shea butter, had way too much coconut, just something that's like super heavy for my hair. Side note, this is not my best, my best looking hair ever. Um, just so you guys know, this is like day four or something unrefreshed. I'm just, it's, it's not its best, but I do want to get this video out for you guys. So we're just going to have to look uh, past it. You may see my hair go up <laughs> mid. If I ever look at this video and I think, oh no, then it, it's going up. have here today is we have Cantu, we have Real Life Works, we have Less Wavy, we also have Less Curly, I've got the Boot Clem, so this is the, the Boot Clem Cream Curls Defined, I have the Kinky Curly Not Today, I also have Bounce Curl, Naughty, so good it's naughty. And also, this was something, this is actually one of the first products that I used when I started transitioning my hair to the Curly Girl Method. And so this is Organic Grow um, Hair Co. So I also have this one. So the main thing that I wanted to talk to you guys today is around thickness of products, uh, if the product contains glycerin or if it contains protein. So just give you kind of an overview of some of the products that are out there. Clearly, I have a product issue. <laughs> I, I, clearly, I'm an addict. Um, but this is something that I just I really wish existed when I first started looking for hair products as well All of these products are curly girl approved. There is uh, a caveat to this the real self works uh, Does have a vegetable emulsifying wax in it. So it is water soluble, but if you are super strict curly girl method um, You may not want this because of the wax. So just that that is just the one caveat um, in terms of thickness I'd probably say on the thickest range, it would probably be between Boo Clem and the Cantu. This curl activating cream is super, super thick. So if you have hair like me, you can use it. In fact, I've gotten great results out of it, but you do have to water it down and a little bit does go a long way. Um, this one I'd actually say is, is a little bit thicker. So I was really surprised with how thick this was. Some of the first ingredients are uh, coconut oil, glycerin's way up there. Um, it, and it's got a, a pretty big um, ingredient list. So some of the things that I like to look for when I am looking for ingredients is small ingredient lists. And that's why I love the Kinky Curly Knot today because this is, it's got like a few organic mango fruit extract. You can see how much I love this product. So organic mango fruit extract, slippery elm, marshmallow root, lemongrass, um, cetyl alcohol, and then it's got three other three other products. No glycerin, no protein. This product is fantastic. So in terms of the protein products, only products that have protein in this haul is the Real Self Works um, leave-in conditioner as well as the Blueberry Bliss uh, leave-in conditioner. So these are the only two that have protein in them out of all of those. Um, some protein-free uh, products include the, the Cantu, the Boot Clem, uh, the Organi Hair Grow, Less Brands, Kinky Curly is um, is protein free as well. The Bounce Me, Bounce, oh I keep on calling it Bounce Curl, Bounce Me of Design Me and it's protein free as well as the So Good It's Naughty. Okay, so in terms of glycerin, the only glycerin free products that I have are the Blueberry Bliss. It says it has Glycerith 26 and it's pretty low on the, on the list. Um, the So Good It's Naughty, this organi hair grow as well as one of my faves the kinky curly so um, why you would want a glycerin free cream would be if you live in a very humid area uh, glycerin is a humectant what it will do is it will grab moisture from the air and basically what will happen is that your curl will fall so one of the products that I am surprised is glycerin free because I had I had curls falling like that was this this intensive care so good it's not I think this is just way too heavy for my hair so, and it's a leave-in conditioner, but so one of the things, if you walk out of your house and you're like, ooh, my hair looks, my hair looks great, and then your hair falls, check your products for glycerin because it, it might be, it might be because of that. Okay. Um, in terms of scents, so the Blueberry Bliss, it has a fake blueberry smell, so that's what I would say about that. This one, 
This one's okay. It's it kind of just it smells like butter. I don't know if that makes sense, but like I can smell like mango butter. So I think yeah, it kind of smells like baked mango. Um, the not today actually has a very like I think this is just one of the cleanest products, but this one it kind of has a faint smell. It doesn't have a, a strong smell. Also pretty faint. Um, Lust Brands has a pretty strong scent, um, a, a strong enough scent that you can smell it after it's in your hair. Like I can smell that I use less. So this one, it, it does have a little bit of a scent, but it's not too strong. Their curls define the gel. It smells like lemon and rosemary had a baby and I don't like that at all. So that one's pretty light. This one's actually unscented. So anybody who is um, who has uh, an issue with scents, this is a, a great product for you. This is the Real Self Works. The Cantu, I like the smell. It kind of smells like pina coladas. I like this one a lot. Okay, so this is something that I really wish existed when I first started looking for, for hair products. So what I did was I made a little card for you guys. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little um, bit of, or a little dollop of the hair product and then I'll do a slide test so that you can kind of see like what is the the consistency of that product okay so what we have here is the Buchem, the Cantu, the Real Self Works, this is the Organi Grow, this is the Bounce Me down here which is a bad choice for me to put it down there because it, it's super slippery um, this is the Naughty, uh, so good it's naughty, this is not today this is the less curly, this is the less wavy, and this is the Blueberry Bliss. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this up so you can see. So although the Cantu is running, what the Cantu does is it goes a little bit, like I mentioned, goes a long way, but it is a thicker cream. It does uh, have a coconut base. The, the Buclem will not move. Like this is like hand cream. The Real Self Work is also a thicker product. This Organi um, Grow is, it doesn't have a lot of hold in it. So when you put it in your hair, it's it's very moisturizing, but um, I felt like I needed a lot. It didn't have great slip, but you need a lot. I think the biggest one that I'm gonna have questions about down here is around the less wavy and the less curly and which one's thicker. So the less curly, I find that this product is really, really great um, for definition. Um, if you use this product, I find personally that I have a better there's more control over this product than there is of the wavy. So the wavy, I'm like, I don't, I, I knew my hair was gonna have amazing volume no matter what, but I didn't know what definition was gonna look like. Whereas the less uh, curly, I still get really great volume, but um, the definition is, is a lot better. I also feel that between wash days, I can spread um, less wavy, like by the third day, I was like, hey, it's game over, but by, with less curly, I can make it to my fourth or fifth day. Um, the Not Today doesn't move a lot, which is pretty impressive. So um, this product, again, like a little bit goes a long way. Um, the no So Good It's Naughty, this one, again, another one like, this is exactly like um, the Buclem in the sense that it's like a hand cream ca uh, consistency. This Bounce Me is just, it's super, super watery. Um, I really like this, this, like I mentioned, for fine haired people, this would be excellent, maybe low porosity. Um, just so you know, this does have a very high glycerin amount in it though, so that would be my only like pay attention. Um, and the Blueberry Bliss, you can tell, doesn't move as well uh, very, very much. So the Blueberry Bliss, um, a little bit goes a long way. I really like the slip of that product. It is a protein product, it's the main reason why I don't use it often. So I hope that this helps you guys. I, I Like I mentioned, I really wish that something like this had existed when I first started looking for products just because I would probably stay away from something like the Buclem um, because I would know that it's it's too heavy for my hair. Um, but instead I spent like $60 to get it to Canada. So <laughs> learn from my mistakes. If you have uh, finer hair, you, you probably won't need it. Even though my hair is not too fine, it's actually pretty thick and can generally handle um, thicker products. But um, that one was, it was really, really thick. So that's it from me guys. I hope that that gave you a better understanding of some of the curl creams. If you want me to go more in depth into a specific one, let me know in the comments. Maybe I can do a, a quick two to three minute video of like an in-depth process in, in terms of like how sticky is it, does it stretch, things like that. So let me know what you guys are looking for and I'm happy to do that for you. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. See you next time.